Hello everyone, Scott here. Welcome back to another story time. Today we're reading Where Do Steam Trains Sleep at Night by Brianna Kaplan Sayers. Where do steam trains sleep at night after puffing down the tracks? Do their moms steam up hot cocoa for their just before bed snacks? Where do snowplow trains sleep after all the tracks are clear? Do their moms say, plow your toys, kids, bedtime's almost here? Where do passenger trains sleep once they've dropped off girls and boys? Do they fill their seats with teddy bears and cuddly bedtime toys? Where do freight cars sleep at night when cargo's reached its destination? Do they rest on daddy's flatbed as he chugs home to the station? Where do monorails sleep once their one-track trips are done? Do they sway to sleep on sky-high tracks beneath the setting sun? Where do fire trains sleep when they're heroes of the hour? Do daddies hose them down with water for a special bedtime shower? Where do high-speed trains sleep after a day of crazy speeding? Do train moms try to calm them down with sleepy bedtime reading? Where do breakdown trains sleep once they've put engines back on rails? Do their dads rock them off to sleep with thrilling rescue tales? Where do trolleys sleep at night after shuttling through the streets? Do mama trolleys ring their train bells for a lullaby soft and sweet? Where do subway trains sleep once they've reached their final stop? Does the street become their blanket, a quilt of city lights on top? Do trains gather in a roundhouse, or a freight yard, or a shed? They don't sleep atop a mattress. The tracks become their bed. But they have a special blankie and an oh-so-bright nightlight. They sleep beneath the crescent moon and a sky of stars so bright. Where do your trains sleep at night when you've drifted off to dreamland? Well, maybe all your choo-choos are fast asleep in Steamland. The end. Thank you all for joining us today. Now let's pop on over to Ronnie for an amazing craft. Hi everybody. I'm Ronnie, your craft master here at the Colorado Railroad Museum. And we are doing a craft today inspired by the book, Where Do Steam Trains Sleep at Night? So our craft is going to be a lot of fun because when you come to the Colorado Railroad Museum, you'll see our roundhouse here every single day. Okay, so let's see what we're going to need for this craft. First, you're going to need scissors, a styrofoam cup, glue, and if you can, I had gotten some paper that looks like brick, and so that's gonna be the outside of our roundhouse. Okay, just to give you an idea, this is what you're gonna, what we're gonna be making. Here's our little roundhouse, and here's my little train, and then, we're also gonna have a little light that we could turn on. And it, it could be a little night light for you at night. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is get our styrofoam cup. And we're just gonna make an opening big enough for your train to get in. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. We're just gonna do the best we can. And I put two slits on each side. And then I go across. Yep. Okay, there it is. Now this is the tricky part. We are going to wrap this if we can. Now lots of times what you might want to do is just get stickers. There's some really awesome stickers at the museum or at the store that you can get and you can decorate that way. You can use markers. 
You could do anything you want, but I happen to have this and it was fun to use what I have already at home. All right, so what we're gonna do is kind of measure around. Oops, let's do it this way. It's gonna look a little funky, but that's okay because we can play around with it. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna go back here. I'm going to measure it down this way a little bit and cut it. We're going to do this in pieces. Maybe cut a little bit more. This time it's probably going to be a little easier to do if it's a little bit shorter. Okay, the other fun part is getting glue all over this thing. All right. We're gonna put this and slowly go around, kind of holding on to it. I would count to 10 just to make sure it's gonna stay. And if not, that's okay. We'll keep Add a little more glue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Then, as you can see, I'm kind of fiddling around with a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more glue so it could stay. What you might want to do too is walk away from it for a little while and make sure it really stays and that's okay too. And then we're going to measure the top of this. Let's put a little top over our, let's see, let me get an idea as to where I'm going to cut. Okay, and close enough. We're gonna put a little bit of glue there. What's fun with this is you can have your family do this with you and get some ideas. There's so many different ways to do this. And it's really fun to maybe talk about what goes on in the roundhouse. You know, uh, do they work on the trains? Do they? work on the, the cars, the freight cars, the passenger cars, talk about all the things that they do in there. They have really interesting tools in there, that's for sure. So if you ever come back again, see us, make sure you go in there and check it out. Okay, so far so good. Now, what I've been doing is I've been, there's a little bit here and I've been just kind of measuring it, cutting little pieces, I fold it and then I put glue on the inside. I put it in there. I think the hardest part about this craft is being patient. <laughs> you want to play with it. Okay, and then get another piece. Fold it as well. Oh, I didn't put enough glue on this side. There you go. Now you just have to let it dry a little bit and then it'll it'll stay really, really well. Now the really fun part. So here's our roundhouse, but it gets kind of scary at night, I'm sure. And the guys in the roundhouse need some light. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little hole in the very top. And then 
there's these little lights that you can get. They're really popular right now for the holidays. So you might want to go ahead and get, have mom and dad get you a whole bunch. And then pull that out, turn the light on, and then feed it through the hole. As you can see, you can see it in there, the light. It's like your very own night light. When you're not using it so it doesn't run out of battery, you flick this thing on top, turn it off. In the meantime, your little train is in the roundhouse for the night, safe and sound. Thank you for joining us here at the Colorado Railroad Museum. I look forward to seeing you again next month. Bye. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Commenting and sharing in particular may qualify as virtual engagements for important funding programs like the SCFD.